Hey everyone, welcome back to Get Super. I'm continuing my Madden 20 Fantasy Draft series with a draft focusing on the defensive side of the ball. In this video, I'll give you some tips and insight on drafting a playoff caliber defense, all while developing a complete team. If you missed my last videos on drafting offense, or the best overall team, I'll have the links at the end of this video. With that being said, let's get into it. With every fantasy draft into a Madden 20, you want to pay special attention to the X factors and be aware of players available and if they might be there in the next round or so. Aaron Donald right now is one of the best players in the game, so taking him first overall in a defensive draft is a really easy decision. Miles Garrett is tempting down here, but he has no X factor. So instead, I decided to go with Von Miller. And he isn't in a duplicate position, but he is still a pass rusher. There are two things to focus on when doing a defensive draft. You really want to have a good pass rush, and you also really want to have a good pass defense. So now that I got two good pass rushers, let's get a really good corner and focus on that pass defense. Byron Jones does not have an X Factor, but he has great stats across the board and he's the best CB available. Now even though this is a defensive draft, I still want to have a decent offense. So I drafted one of the best wide receivers available and got Antonio Brown. Now in round 5, I was really focusing on stopping the run, but having a good interior presence. So I went defensive tackle to shore up the middle. Now in round six, I'm taking a look at a couple of different positions. I just want to get a feel to see who's still out there and to kind of reevaluate to see who might be there later on. That's a key thing to worry about is trying to play it ahead. My eyes on Cam Newton. I'm trying to see if he'll be there and evaluate and see when he might go. Ultimately though, I'm going to go with a position that goes quick, and that's middle linebacker. Looking at those top three stats, Jalen Smith stands out to me, so that's my pick there. Now in round seven, I'm really going to try starting to look at those younger guys. I like playing with the rookies, and a lot of the good ones go in rounds three through seven, so I kind of missed my chance on some of the better ones. I just kind of want to see who's still out there. I didn't really find anybody that I liked, so I decided to grab my quarterback in round seven. That's a huge steal. Not, he's not the highest rated, but Cam Newton would do some serious damage in this offense. Now in round eight, I was going to start my offensive line. That's where I really kind of want to look and start drafting my linemen, make sure I get the best ones. But Cam Hayward caught my eye here. He's not an X-Factor, but he's a superstar, and he's really high-rated. High-rated defensive linemen are a steal in round 8, when most of the top players are O-line or the bigger run-stuffing defensive tackles. Now here, I have the overall scheme in mind. I want to play defense, and I'm going to need a couple of different linebackers. So Rashawn Evans, he can play inside, or he can play one of those outside linebacker spots that's going to help me in pass coverage. And now in round 10, I really want to focus on that pass defense and get my second corner. So I'm getting a Keeb Tlaib here who can play some good press man or he can play in solid zone. Now I'm starting my offensive line a little bit later than I usually would, but round 11 is a good place to start too. Right now I only have one wide receiver and a quarterback, so I really need some offensive players. So I'm going to really focus and get three out of five of my offensive linemen here in rounds 11, 12, and 13. And just like in my other fantasy drafts, I want to draft those guards and get the best value for my offensive line. I can shift them around and move them to different positions. Right now, my biggest need on defense is the back end. So in round 14, I'm drafting a safety. I've kind of neglected it so far, so I have to pick one here. And instead of getting somebody already established, oftentimes I go for a younger guy with better development traits. 
especially if I'm playing more than one season. I can spend the time and develop them and build them up a little bit. I was honestly surprised to see KJ Wright still here at 15. He'll help my pass coverage significantly and kind of shore up my linebacking spots. 16 through 25, I'm speeding it up a little bit. In these rounds, I'm just trying to round out and balance my team, adding depth where it makes sense, but ultimately filling out my roster for offense. As you can see, there's still a lot of great value here especially for the older players. They're still really good, but they're, they've been passed over because of their age. So if you really want to focus on defense early, this draft is proof you can do that and still develop a really good offense. If you've watched my other videos, you'll notice a pattern with some of these guys, like Jimmy Graham and Larry Fitzgerald. The older guys in the later rounds, that can still ball, at least in Madden. Now 26 through 30, I use these last few draft spots to draft the last few specialty positions. Get a kicker, punter, fullback, or any last depth guys I like before I simulate the rest of the draft after 30. All right, let's see who we got. Got Cam Newton at quarterback. And drafted Lamar Miller here for my running back. Just usually draft a fullback just to make sure I have one. And then look at these wide receivers. Got a couple older guys, some guys that aren't on teams anymore. But overall, a pretty decent group. Quite a few first round picks here. And then Antonio Brown just kind of leading the pack. Nothing really too special on tight end. We got a rookie, and then we got Jimmy Graham, who in Madden can catch out anything. And then you can see here I moved all my guards to the center and tackle spots. Except for here, my right tackle, I drafted him kind of late. And then I drafted quite a few really good defensive players. Sometimes that's okay. A lot of times you can shift them around and move them to different positions and it'll all work out. It's not like I'm moving Aaron Donald to safety. I'm just kind of moving them around the line a little bit. I got a few different X factors on my defense. Aaron Donald, Von Miller, and then a lot of other talented players as well. My linebacking depth is pretty good with Jalen Smith, with Rashawn Evans. Got KJ Wright over here as well. Got some pretty decent corners, at least for my top two, top three-ish. And then again, sometimes it's not all about drafting every position. You can move some players around strong safety can move over to free safety if you have extra corners you can move one to one of them to safety extra safeties move them to corner and then we got one of the best kickers got a decent punter all right now let's see how we do if we simulate the season So we went 10 and 6. Looks like we are fourth in the conference. And we won our division. Let's check out some of the stats. See how Cam Newton and the rest of the team did. Alright, not too bad. Cam Newton threw 37 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Only got sacked 22 times, so my offense wasn't too bad. Lamar Miller, 7 touchdowns, almost 1,000 yards rushing. And Antonio Brown had over 1,000 yards. 16 touchdowns. 
I wasn't even focusing on offense and it still did pretty good. Now on defense, had a couple players with over 100 tackles. Nobody really had double digit sacks, but everybody kind of got a piece of the pie here. Byron Jones led the team in interceptions. All right, so overall, not too bad. We definitely made the playoffs, and I didn't even play a single game. On to the awards. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.